Morgan Shepard was a fixture of NASCAR. He first started to compete in the Cup Series in June 1970 at Hickory. During that decade, Shepard mostly competed in the late model sportsman division, the predecessor to the current sportsman series, where he won the 1980 championship. In 1981, at the age of 38 years, Shepard began to compete regularly in the Cup Series with Cliff Sturt Racing and won at Martinsville after leading for 203 of 500 laps. <laughs> And the white flag is up, the white is up for Morgan Shepard, who has one more lap to go. The car right in front of him is Lake Speed, the number 66 car. Shepard is about to walk off with the victory here in the Virginia 500. A tremendous afternoon for him. The car can turn them in front of the screen now to the uh, very low group. There he is, he's got his hand out the window, he's waving to the crowd as he comes down to his the checkered flag. And the winner of the Virginia 500 is Morgan Shepard. What a piece of work. The car was handling so well. It was working so well. I don't think you, obviously, a lot of things have to go right when you win a Winston Cup race. And you can see the folks just waving right back. And many, many times you'll see it, especially from an experienced driver. But when Morgan Shepard came off the turn, he was already waving to the crowd. And what a big day it is for Morgan Shepard. Shepard remained a competitive competitor in NASCAR over the better part of the next two decades. He won an additional three Cup Series races at Atlanta in 1986, 1990, and 1993. Finished fifth in the 1990 standings, was the runner-up at the 1992 Daytona 500, and won 15 races in the current Sportsman Series from 1982 to 1988. We go back to the leaders. They have taken the white flag. It's going to be Morgan Shepard and Jack Ingram going for it. It appears as if Morgan Shepard is going to be able to hold him off. There is going to be no traffic between Shepard and the finish line. Morgan Shepard has Jesus. it off of turn number four. Ingram will finish second. A good race. And the number 32 car of Dale Jarrett finishes third. 1998 would be Shepard's final season where he was competitive in the Cup Series. That year, he turned 57 years and participated in 19 of 33 races. While Shepard qualified in the top 10 twice and also finished in the top 20 twice, he also failed to qualify for seven races. After entering 15 National Series races in 1999 and 11 of them in 2000, Shepard ran 16 of 24 Truck Series races in 2001. Initially, he drove for Gensman Racing and finished 11th at the Daytona season opener. Afterwards, the entry was done by Shepard Racing Ventures, Shepard's own team. The best accomplishment of the season was easily at South Boston. There, the leaders made pit stops while the race was under caution for a multi-truck crash on lap 133. Shepard would stay on the track and inherit the lead. Ultimately, he led for 15 laps before making a pit stop during another caution for a multi-truck crash on lap 157. Unfortunately, on lap 171, a crash occurred and Shepard ended up being wedged between the outside wall and Willie T. Ribs. Shepard would have another memorable race in 2001, which would be at Kentucky. There, Shepard qualified in 23rd place out of 36 drivers. Of the other 35 drivers, 11 of them had not been born by June 26, 1970, the date of Shepard's Cup Series debut. Throughout the season, Shepard in his entry had been struggling for sponsorship and the Kentucky race was not an exception. He did not have a pit crew hired for the event. EVI Motorsports gave equipment to Shepard's team and offered to let them use the pit crew that would also be doing service for Stan Boyd's truck. Shepard would decline the latter part of the offer. During the race, Shepard made a pit stop, got out of his vehicle, and proceeded to change the four tires and refuel his truck. Before getting back into his truck, Shepard, who was 59 years old at the time, had a snack. In all, he lost four laps doing this. Shepard stated that his intention was to bring some attention to his team, which could have led to sponsorship interest. While his act of self-service was not shown on the ESPN television broadcast of the race, it was mentioned by the MRN radio broadcast. Unfortunately, a fuel pump issue caused Shepard to retire from the race with 54 of 150 laps completed, which was enough distance completed to get him 31st place. Shepard continued to compete regularly in the truck series through 2003, usually for his own team. From 2001 to 2003, his only race finishes in the series were at New Hampshire in 2001 and Richmond in 2002. In each case, he finished in 17th. Shepard competed in the series through February 2015. 
when he was 73 years old. With Atlanta being his final race there, Shepard started 30th out of 31 drivers and finished 12 laps down in 27th place. After turning 60 years old in 2001, Shepard started 271 Sportsman Series races, most of which in his own cars. In 2011, the year Shepard turned 70 years, he started all 34 races for this season and had a best finish of 18th at Las Vegas and finished 21st in the championship. This would be Shepard's best championship result in a NASCAR National Series since finishing 19th in the 1996 Cup Series standings. I will note that Shepard was the lowest ranked driver in the 2011 Sportsman Series Championship who started every race, and six drivers who started less races than him were ranked higher. Shepard's final season as a driver came in 2019, when he entered 18 Sportsman Series races for himself and started 12 of them. That year, he had a best start of 26th place at Iowa and a best finish of 31st at Fontana. Shepard retired from all of his starts in 2019, likely due to starting and parking, the practice of a team entering a race with the intention of retiring early and getting low position prize money while saving on expenses for additional tires and potential damage that could come to their vehicle through race use. Shepard entered at least one Cup Series race each season from 1981 to 2006. From 2004 to 2006, he was a Series regular, although not a full-time driver. In 2004, Shepard entered 32 of 36 races and qualified for 19 of them, with a best finish of 32nd at Martinsville. He returned to the series in 2013 and 2014, when he entered four races and qualified for three of them. Shepard's best finish in this grouping would be in his final race, New Hampshire in 2014. There, driving for Circle Sport, he started in last place, 43rd, and finished the race in 39th, albeit 27 laps down. By starting the event, 72-year-old Shepard became the oldest person to start a Cup Series race, a record he still has through at least August 2023. On lap 213 of the race, Shepard was being lapped by second place Joey Logano when he slid up and crashed into Logano. Both Logano and the TNT broadcast were critical of Shepard. Yeah, that's a tough pill to swallow when you're taken out by a guy that's 15 laps down. Um, I don't know exactly what you know what happened there, but if you take a ride on the 22 here, just watch he get he gets pounded in the left rear. Joey Logano in the garage. Let's hear from him, Marty. And he just watched that replay and was just shaking his head in disbelief. Uh, you ever seen anything like that? Yeah. Slowest car in the racetrack took us out. Go figure. Just, uh, we had a pretty good auto trader forward. We're just doing what we can to, uh, to hang in there. You know, we were uh, obviously running second. Brad is really, really fast. He's definitely a car to beat right now. But um, we were just doing what we can with strategy, keeping our car up towards the front, running some good lap times. And felt like we could have a Penske 1 2 again. And it just. Uh, Gonna get taken out by the slowest car. I feel like there should be like a driver's test before you get out in a cup car and make sure you know how to drive before you drive one, but I don't know, I guess there isn't. In 2019, Landon Castle drove part-time for Shepard in the Sportsman Series and did have some respectable results. At Las Vegas, he qualified in ninth place and would also finish 15th, one lap down, at the Homestead season finale. Castle returned in 2020, did three of the first four races, and got a best start of 16th at Phoenix. Following the All-NASCAR National Series going on hiatus from mid-March to late May due to the coronavirus pandemic, Shepard only entered two other races. At the series resumption at Darlington, Castle started and finished in 38th place. The starting lineup was determined by a draw that had position groupings be open to drivers whose entry was within a certain ranking group in the owner's championship. The team then withdrew from Atlanta. Shepard's team did not compete in any remaining races in 2020 due to a lack of qualifying where the team could get attention from potential sponsors and the low payout for the final four positions in a given race. Shepard intended for the team to return in 2021, but they did not. As of August 2023, Shepard has not competed in NASCAR as a driver or team owner again. While Morgan Shepard had a NASCAR driving career that had several accomplishments, he also has a unique place in NASCAR history as a simultaneous driver, team owner, and pit crew. 